So in this video of exploring Elasticsearch, we're going to actually do a hands-on demonstration of setting up and configuring an Elasticsearch cluster. So without further ado, let's head over to the Linux Academy website to use the cloud servers. So from our course page here, we're going to go to the cloud servers at the top. And I'm going to use all six of our cloud servers here to set up an Elasticsearch cluster with one dedicated master node, which will also have Kibana installed, and then five data nodes. Now, if you're following along and you don't want to set up that many nodes, then that's okay. You can set up as many data nodes as you want, but you should have, in order to follow along, at least one master node and one data node. So I'm going to use CentOS 7 for all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and create all of these servers. So with our server started up, I'm going to go ahead and install the Elasticsearch YUM repository and Elasticsearch itself on all of these nodes. Okay, so I just installed the Elasticsearch YUM repository the latest version of Java 8, and Elasticsearch on all six of our cloud servers. And then I also installed Kibana on our first server here. Now, none of these services have been configured or started yet, so that's what we're going to cover in this video. For those following along, if you need a quick refresher on how to install Elasticsearch, then you can look in the section one of this course. The Elasticsearch installation part two video will show how to install the Elasticsearch YAML repository and install Elasticsearch products from there. So let's go ahead and configure our first node, which is just gonna be a Elasticsearch master only node. So we'll log in with the default user account. And because I've already been on here, I've already reset my password. So if I elevate to root here, you can see that we have Java installed. And we have Elasticsearch installed but not started. So let's head over to our configuration directory for Elasticsearch, which is under Etsy Elasticsearch. So here we have three files. We have Elasticsearch.yaml, which is where we configure the instance of Elasticsearch. We have the JVM options and the log4j2 properties file. So the only file we really need to touch to configure our cluster is the elasticsearch.yaml file. So let's open this up. So this file has a lot of configuration in here already with most of it commented out so that you can see what's available. But there's also some configuration options that aren't in this file that you can find through Elasticsearch documentation. So we don't have to give this a cluster name. By default, the cluster name is Elasticsearch, but we'll just go ahead and give it one. And we'll call our cluster Linux Academy. 